water, a couple of Reese's, rice, a little bit of meat, and some popcorn and water. Okay, that's it. That's it for today. I haven't had any birds for the past few days now because I guess because of the rainstorm, all the birds have fled and just aren't coming to eat anything. But hopefully today, with the maybe the rice will track them. I mean, anything that looks white like that compared to everything else around here should definitely attract them. You know, and I saw them eating bird seed yesterday. I don't see why they they couldn't eat this. You know, I mean, it's there, isn't it? I mean, it's all this all this popcorn is right here. They should be able to all see it right here. Well, I, I was at a job interview today, just so you know. I'm, I'm feeding the birds at my regular time at 1.30. I've been feeding the birds at 1.30 since I've been oversleeping a lot. I used to feed them at 11.30. But, but anyways, I had an interview at 12, and after I was done, by the way, I'm hired, by the way, for that job. And while I was coming out of the mall area, I saw a crow on the street in the drive the mall driveway street not the you know in the parking lot but it was a very desolate area of the parking lot you know there weren't any cars driving on it there was a crow eating a scrap of food right on the pavement and it was looked like it was like crushed maybe it was a french fry i'm guessing it was a french fry but it was like pecking this black stuff off the road maybe that was like pieces of the pavement I don't know but anyways that's what I saw my grandma insisted on throwing a piece of pizza out at the crow you know but it would end up flying away if you know if she saw her throwing anything it's one thing about bird watching is you just can never really appreciate anything and if you throw a piece of item out they might think that you're hitting them with something and even if you drop like a scrap of food like from your hands like this they probably aren't going to see it and they'll probably just fly off if they're eating something else or whatever they just eat what's convenient to them it's not like they have to eat that french fry you know i mean i don't even see crows eating french fries around here and i put but i put like lots of food out they seem to like the popcorn the best out of everything you know, but I mean, it's it's just the thing about bird watching and feeding the birds in general. It's just that you can't really appreciate feeding them when you don't actually get to see them eating anything. It, 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 would it be so amazing if I could just go up to like bike ride somewhere and I could get off my bike and drop a piece a food from the ground, a crow would just swoop down and take it right in front of you. That would be like amazing, but that would never happen because they'll wait till like you're two, they're 200 feet. You could be bike riding like I did, and one time I, I dropped a piece of popcorn on the grass, like bare, you know, I literally dropped it on the grass on the side of the road somewhere else you know, in like a mall area, and there was a crow on the telephone wire, it immediately swooped down and grabbed it after I was, after I bike rode well past it. And I saw it on the ground after it flew on a sign and then finally flew to the ground from there. And then I came back and the food was gone, all of it. And I dropped like quite a little bit of popcorn. I dropped a few pieces too, that crow was hungry. But that crow did, did, did not hesitate after I left to take the food. All right. Well, anyways, I'm going to stop there, and we'll see what birds we get today. And hopefully we do get some. Come on, house sparrows. We know that, we know that you want something today. Come on. It's free. It's, it's here. You know, it's, it's convenient. It's right there. <laughs> you know, you don't have to go over there to get the food. You can come over here. Okay, well, we'll see what we get today.